Hey Rams, it's Miss Moreau. We are on the homework page for Monday, April 19th. Make for sure as you're filling this out, you have all the work on your paper or justification for each answer, that your name is on here and your student's ID number is bubbled. That's your lunch number, okay? All right, number one, which of the following would not be found on a consumer's credit report? Your credit report is this fancy document that the bank uses that tells how financially responsible you are. Now, there are some things that are on there and some things involving your money that are not on there. Your mortgage loan, your mortgage, that's your house payment. When you borrow money from a bank to buy a house, that is called your mortgage. So the amount of money that you owe the bank for your house, it is on there. Okay, the amount of money you have in your checking account is not going to be on there. That number changes, you know, pretty much daily as you are earning and spending money. That is not on there. That has nothing to do um, with borrowing money from anyone else. But student loans, a loan, remember when you borrow money from somebody to pay it back later, the banks want to know how much money that you have borrowed. What do you owe to other people? So that is on your credit report. And how long you've had your credit card have you had your credit card for one month or have you been maintaining this card for 10 years with a good balance? That is something that would be on your credit report. So the answer here, the one that's not, would be your checking account balance. All right, number two. Sandra is planning to attend a state university and she qualifies for financial aid. Which of these sets below can she apply for based solely on her financial need. Okay, remember your financial need is based on the amount of money that you or your parents earn. Okay, so one of the things that we know is based on financial need is grants. Okay, we've, we've talked about how the government can give you money to go to college and you don't even have to pay it back. Those are grants. So grants, I wanna underline all the ones that have grants in it. This one does not, okay? Um, next, anybody can get a student loan. You may have a, a large income, but when you decide to go to school, you can still borrow money from the bank to go to school. So student loan does not necessarily based on your income. You can borrow the money from the bank, but it's, um, it doesn't change only based on your financial need. Okay. Now the other one, scholarships are based on something you earn. Now, some scholarships could partially be based on your financial need, um, but most of them are based on something that you've earned. Your grades, your academic performance, um, being an all-around citizen, an athletic scholarship, those usually don't have much to do at all with your financial need as your family. But your work-study programs do. In work-study programs, your, if you have um, student loans and you have borrowed money to go to college, a lot of times colleges will let you work part-time in exchange for some of the fees for your classes. So that's work-study. So the answer here is C because um, it's the only one that only has the two answers. The others have other ones in there as well, okay? Okay, our next question here. Mr. Irons is planning to take out a loan to buy a car. At the car dealership, he must sign a statement giving permission to check his credit report. Which of these statements best describes why his, why his car dealership wants to check his credit report? A says to see if he's a safe driver. Well, remember, your credit report tells how financially responsible you are, not necessarily what a safe driver you are, okay? Um, B says to decide how much money he earns. Okay. All right, well, a person can earn a lot of money but not necessarily have good credit. So it's not always just about how much they earn. Okay, um, to determine if he can afford the car. All right, you're, you're checking your credit can also tell somewhat of how much you earn, 
but it doesn't always tell how much you, um, if you can afford it. You may have other expenses that are not on your credit report. When people are looking at your credit report, the biggest thing they're looking at is to determine the likelihood that you're going to pay back the loan. If you are trying to buy a car or buy a house or get a credit card, when they look at your credit report, they want to know how financially responsible you are and what is the likelihood that you're going to pay that money back. They don't want to give you money if you're not going to prove that you're responsible enough to pay it back, okay? All right, next problem here. This is um, a little bit uh, of a tough one, the way it's worded, okay? So I'm going to walk Mr. Hernandez is searching for a new checking account. He compares the fees associated with two different banks in his town. Which of the following statements best supports this information? So, um, let's under before we go to the statements, let's understand what it tells us. At First Bank, they charge you $10 a month, no matter how much money you have in the bank. At Star Bank, as long as you have more than $500 in your account, there's no fee involved at all. So, which one's the best? Well, really, it depends on your situation. If you have less than $500 a month in your account, well, then you're going to have a fee at Star Bank, but at First Bank, that doesn't change, right? So the answer choices here say, A, Mr. Hernandez should choose Star Bank because it has no fees. Well, that's not necessarily true. It has no fees as long as there's more than $500. So that's actually just not a true statement at all. So it can't be um, your answer. Answer choice B says, Mr. Hernandez should choose first bank because the fees are the same. Well, the same as what? That's not a clear statement. The same as Star Bank? Mm, that's not necessarily a clear statement there. They are the same each month, but it, it, that's, it doesn't necessarily say that, okay? C, Mr. Hernandez should choose Star Bank if he normally has $800 in his bank account. Well, that sounds great because as long as he has, you know, if he has that $800, then that means there's no fee at all. He won't have to pay a fee at the bank. Okay, and the last one, D, says he should choose it because it's just $10. Well, I mean, if I only have $20 in the bank, do I want to pay $10 a month? Don't not necessarily know that, right? So we can't just assume it's always just $10 there. So that answer there is C. Okay, number five, Jolie is opening her first checking account as a teenager. She doesn't have a job, so most of her income would be gifts from birthdays and holidays. So bank A has an $8 monthly charge. Bank B charges 1% of the balance. So which of these account balances would result in bank A being a better financial choice? Well, I want to walk through that a little bit here, okay? Um, bank B, let's just talk about that one for a second. Bank B charges 1% of your balance. So if you have $100 in there, it's going to charge you $1 a month. If you have $500 in there, it'd be 1%, which would mean one out of every $100. So it'd be $5 a month. So it's going to charge you more with the more money you have. Okay, the more money, your, your, the higher your balance is, the more money bank B is going to charge. Now, bank A is just an $8 monthly charge. Well, we said over here with bank B, $100 charge. All right, so if we had $100, it was 1%. Um, if we had $200 now, there, we would pay $2. If we had $300, we'd pay $3. If we had $800, we would pay $8 in that monthly fee. Anything over $8 would be more than an $8 monthly fee. So for A, bank A, the best choice would be when you have a higher balance because bank A is going to save you money. You'll be spending less on that monthly charge because it's not based on your balance. Number six. Mrs. Wright organized the features of a credit card and debit card into a table. Which description best fits the missing detail? Okay, so we want to know which one represents a credit card. Purchases are unlimited in funds. Oh, no, there is a credit limit. It's based on your credit score. Okay. B, purchases are charged a fee at the time of the transaction. No, they don't charge you an extra fee right when you use your credit card. It's every month that you don't have it paid off, you're paying a fee. 
Purchases must be in a one-time payment. No, I, I could purchase quite often um, and then pay it back a little bit each month. And D, purchases are subject to a credit limit. Yes, if I have a credit card with a credit limit of $500, then I can only spend $500 on that card or it will be declined, okay? Some differences here between debit cards and credit cards. Seven, the average salaries of three different industries are shown below. Based on the information, how much more will someone in the technology industry make than someone in the financial industry over a period of 10 years? So I'm looking at technology, oops, sorry, technology and financial. So for this, what I would do is subtract them. You could multiply each of these numbers by 10 and then subtract. I find it much easier to subtract first. So 84,598 minus 65,480. What I'm going to get is $19,118. That's how much more they make in one year. But if I want to know over 10 years, I'm just going to multiply it by 10. And when I do that, I'm going to get C, $191,180. All right, and this last one does not actually have a correct answer here. Um, what it would be here, we would find the balance right here and then the balance right here, and that one is our answer. It is actually $340, okay? Sorry, it's not the correct one, but you will bubble D for it, okay? Thanks, Rams.